some of the applications of neural network are in classification problems it is used for pattern recognition for example character recognition face recognition in feature extraction for example fingerprint processing image processing uh, signature match in banks likewise we can use neural network for prediction extrapolation based upon historical data it can be also used for noise reduction basically recognizing patterns in input and producing a noiseless output or cutting off unwanted noise from the audio data so these are certain applications where neural network can be used to begin with what i am going to do is i am going to take a simple example of artificial neural network in this example what we are going to create is a simple data set having two columns a input column and a output column the output values will be square root of the input as shown in the sample table here and this data we are going to pass through a neural network algorithm and build a model using that model we will then see how good the model can predict the square root values of the given inputs so let let me move to r studio so in this simple example what we are going to build a neural network model between uh, input and output where input is uh, output is a simple square root of the input uh, to build the model i require the neural network package neural net in case it is already installed in your machine you can run the library in case it is not installed you will have to run the install.package command let me run the library command in my machine it is installed the package is loaded what i am creating here is a a sample input data set of 50 observations the values of that input is any value from 0 to 225 and in this step i am computing the square root of those input values and then i c bind them and put together in one data frame here i am renaming it and then let's view the data set so here we have created 50 records where there is two columns input and output output value is square root of the input value we'll use this data set for building our training model we'll use the neural net function at any point of time if you want the help documentation help documentation of it you can do question neural net and you get all the details how to go about calling this function i call this neural net package function with certain parameters formula is equal to output tilde input where i'm saying output as a function of input is what we want to create the data is in a data set by name training data hidden equal to 10. Now what is hidden equal to 10? As I mentioned biological neural network is made up of billions of neurons and here we are trying to create an artificial neural network. So in this artificial neural network I am saying create an artificial neural network which has got 10 neurons. For now, we are building a very simple model. We are not in the realm of creating a neural network model having billions of neurons. We are creating a small model. So, hidden equal to 10 is creating a small artificial neural network having 10 neurons. Threshold. The threshold parameter is I would like the model to keep iterating in the background. When you build a neural network model, there are lots of iteration which keeps happening. I would like the model to keep iterating till my threshold error falls below 0 0.01. Life sign is equal to full. 
what i mean is as the iterations happen i would like the iterations to be shown on the screen and lifetime equal to step lifetime dot step equal to 10 i am saying that after every 10th iteration show me the output in my console so let's run this it is going to take some time and it will take lots of iterations to build the model so our iterations have started so you can see already 20 12000 15 18 19 21000 iterations 27000 okay of the 29385 iterations convergence has happened and our model is built the entire model is stored in this object you can print this model it will show lots of details about the model the synaptic weights and many other information which is too much verbose information at this point of time so what we are going to do is rather than see the print we will see the plot this is the neural network structure and with this neural network structure for any given input we will get the output which will be a value that is square root of the input so how to interpret this this is input neuron these 10 bulbs 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 these 10 bulbs where my cursor was pointing those 10 bulbs are the hidden neurons the input neuron is connecting to the hidden neuron so these arrow marks on these arrow marks you can see the numbers those numbers are called synaptic weight this blue bulb which you can see is called the bias for each layer that is the input layer you have one blue bulb then for the hidden neuron layer you have one more bulb on the right hand side and then you get the output so the signal in this case is the input value that we pass that signal multiplied by the synaptic weight that is the number shown on the arrow goes to the neuron to which that arrow connects similarly the bias neuron multiplied by the synaptic weight that is the number shown on the arrow that element again goes to the neuron to which that arrow connects both the values will get added as a first step on that added value there is some transformation which is activation function transformation we will see those activation function transformation more at a later stage that output that summation and the activation function gives a output that output from the neuron will then go to the output layer again which is connected through synaptic weights again at the output layer all the summation and activation transformation will happen and the final output is the value which you will see is the square root of the input value 